Okay, so I'm like scrolling to TikTok, right? And I see a few people talk about this one TikTok couple and what they did. Turns out they're doing that one food challenge where like you do rock, paper, scissors, winner gets to eat the loser has to run, right? So they do that and the girl, Alex, right? She gets mad at the fact that she's losing and she actually start hitting the guy. I think the guy's name is Steven or Stefan or something like that in front of their kid. And when I say hit, I don't mean like, you know, light like hits on the arm like you know just like play hitting right i mean she ran up and did a flying jump kick in this guy's side and then tried slapping the guy full force and for some reason like tiktok comments and people giving the output on the situation are 50 50 saying that he deserves it for putting hot sauce on the food and drinking the only drink and that he was winning the other 50 percent which you know I'm kind of leaning towards saying that the girl is crazy for attacking the guy over a TikTok food challenge that she wanted to do. Before we get too far into this, I'll make a little timeline of the six minute video. So at around one minute, 33 seconds, she does the first lap. At 3.10, she does a jump kick. And the last lap with the daughter crying happens at the last 30 seconds of the video. And the YouTube comments are just 100% just blaming Stefan, Steven, the guy. For all the reasons I said, Plus being a guy. Like this is the kind of stuff they said and I'm just confused. That's disgusting, narcissistic, didn't help her opening the bottle but drank the whole thing at one go. Even the little child felt disgust. Shame. I don't even like it how he proves every time he doesn't like her that much. It's painful to watch that poor woman. Even if it's a game or competition, that guy did it in a very cruelly and completely inconsiderate way. I felt sorry and angry all at the same time. And hey, if you made it this far in the video, why don't you subscribe? Okay, so let's start this thing from the beginning. They do the challenge, he wins like the first couple, couple of rounds, and he dumps like three hot sauce containers, right? On the tacos, drenching like, I think like most of them. And she calls him out cause like, you know, I'm guessing she doesn't like hot sauce that much. Are you kidding me? You ruined the tacos! Why would you dump all the hot sauce on? I don't like it on my tacos. I couldn't control it. Come on. So she loses a few times and this is where she starts to get angry a little bit. And then the guy's winning. She comes back and as soon as she comes back, she actually just slaps the guy. And it seems like, you know, he got annoyed because like two minutes later, she starts losing again. And that's when she does a flying jump kick in the guy's side. Not her! What? And so obviously, you know, a flying jump kick on the side. The guy's like, hey, you know, that hurts. And then she just laughs it off like it was something funny. And I'm guessing the hot sauce got too much for her. Because every time she would win, she would just try to open up the bottle. Because the bottle, it was a bottle cap, not like a twistable lid. So, you know, after not being able to open it, they took a little bit of a pause. And after the pause, the guy wins, she runs. And he finishes the entire drink in one go. And like their daughter, she's telling the dad, like, you know, don't do it, don't do it. Because once she gets back, she tried to do a full force, like, slap. But luckily, the guy dodges. And if, like, the daughter is, like, saying, like, oh, you know, don't do it, don't finish the thing. I feel like the daughter knew that if he finished it, he might have gone and slapped. So, like, you know, it's kind of, like, concerning if there's something going on behind the scenes. You know, to where like the daughter knows that something might happen if things don't go the mom's way. Because then the daughter starts crying. People are speculating because, you know, she wanted a little bit of the drink. But other people are speculating is because, you know, she just watched her mom just attack her dad. Daddy, stop, stop, stop. That was pretty good. Stop. You wonder why I didn't do it. Why I did <laughs> I thought you were losing. <laughs> Oh, uh, Aurora, I'll go get another one, baby. And what is why I took a drink first? I knew you were going to do that. I'll go get another that. one, baby. Aurora, you Sarah. made our daughter cry. I didn't know she wanted none. The kind of so then people tried justifying the kick, saying that it wasn't that strong, but it was a jump kick with a run-up that hit the guy's side. And hitting the side of, like, you know, your stomach doesn't really take a lot for that to hurt. He called her out, and she just laughed it off like it was a quirky, cute thing to do. And then it was a slap that was meant with full disrespect and force. And if that slap actually connected, I feel like at that point, they might have gone to a full-on argument 
and then you know a lot more people would have talked about this topic because honestly like there's barely anyone who talked about this i didn't see anyone on youtube and i've only seen like three four or five people like talk about it on tiktok because i feel like a slap to the face in any context is like disrespectful but she did that or she tried to do that with full intent to actually hurt him because she was mad and she was losing the game and i'm guessing you know she wanted to make the guy like or she wanted to release her anger in a way that caused harm to that guy I've seen a few TikTok creators give their opinion on the situation, saying that, you know, it's crazy that she attacked him over a game. And other people said that it was normal for couples to hit each other and that he deserved getting hit. Look, there's a difference between, you know, hitting when it comes to your significant others, people you know in general, and like friends. And that's the intent behind it. Look, there's like, you know, joking around hitting, you know, stuff like that. You know, maybe like a small few hits. But then there was hitting with actual anger and frustration. And she was doing that to make herself feel better. That was why she was doing it full force. So she actually just got straight on just full angry over a TikTok game. But I think it's completely crazy that people think physical violence is warranted against you if you're winning a TikTok food game. Because there are so many people saying that he deserved it for putting hot sauce on the food. You know how dumb that sounds? Like imagine going to a restaurant, uh, what's it called? The owner or like the cook, they put like so much sauce on the thing, right? Are you going to backhand your waiter? Are you saying that's warranted? Because the girl was actually getting mad over a TikTok food trend, started to attack the guy for winning. The whole point of it is that it's a competition. You can't get mad when you're losing and hit the guy. And the whole reason of this competition is that they get enough food for one person, which is why there is only one drink. Because the whole point of the actual game is that one person walks away kind of full. She actually wanted the guy to feel pain because he was winning. And you can't say that she wasn't actually mad. When she kicked him, people tried to justify the kick saying that it didn't hurt because he was a guy. People then asked, okay, if the rules were reversed and the guy did all the things, or the, the guy did all the things the girl did, would that be okay? And they said, no, it wouldn't. Because if the guy acted in the same way as the girl, being a sore loser, I legitimately think people would have called in to do a wellness check and try to get the guy like full on arrested. And then trying to spin it off like the guy abuses his wife and daughter when the cameras are off. Because I don't get this. She decided to post this, record herself trying to hurt the guy after getting mad, edited it, and posted it. Was she gonna try to like spin it off like she was just playing around? Which I think is what she actually tried doing, which is why she left it in. Because when anyone brings it up in their new video, you have people in the comments saying, Oh, you must be new. Oh, this is normal. Old fans watching this be like... So you're telling me that stuff like this, like her just kicking the guy, slapping the guy, is this normal? Is him just getting abused, just like tolerated at this point? That's just considered normal? What has this guy gone through? Because I'm not watching, you know, 500 other videos, TikTok shorts, just to find out what other like, you know, harm this guy's gone through. Because if the guy was losing, right, he started to slap her, later do a flying jump kick. The only thing that would be in the comments would be, get away from him, he's crazy, he lost, I like, call the police, are you safe, and so much more. Some people were saying that the whole thing is fine because they're in a relationship. Other people said that, I wouldn't do that if that was my man, if I was him, I would leave. But the thing is, is that he can't leave. This entire TikTok page is their entire livelihood. It's based on their TikToks and the stuff that they post on YouTube. You think those like suburban moms that watch these family channels want to watch the divorced family channel while their own marriage is deteriorating? Remember the Ace family? Those guys were getting like a couple million a day and now they're only getting like a million views in an entire month. They don't post anymore because of the divorce, but they made their money. With them, you know, TikTok saving, they're going to lose an entire set of income. So basically, they're only going to be a short creator at this point because they only get like, what, like, I think it was like 20 to 50,000 views per video. And there's, but their shorts are getting like, you know, 100K, 200K, but shorts pay so much less, like 10 times less or even 20 times less. Look, we don't know what happens behind the scenes. The girl hitting the guy, that could be a real life glimpse of what happens behind the camera. But you know, ultimately, they decide to present themselves this way, which made them look odd because they, as content creators, they decide what they want to put on their channel and showing that, you know, they normalize basically hitting the guy as a normal thing people have the right to give their opinion on how they present themselves. So then they decide to make another, like the same video again, but like a take two, which is basically making fun of the fact that everyone called her out for attacking the guy. And I think it was like the caption said, who is the abuser now? And they did it without their daughter being present. So the entire time that I would win, lose, or like, you know, draw, he would do the lap while she would eat the entire time. And I'm guessing he would purposely flinch because every time like she raised her arm, he would flinch. And throughout the entire six minute video, he only ate once and it was cut short because a fan saw them and he stopped the wave. They got two drinks this time because apparently, you know, he didn't want to get her mad or angry or attack the guy. So he just did the laps. And the commenter just saying he's losing on purpose because he doesn't want to get hit. YouTube comments are just laughing 
and saying that, oh, you know, it looks like he wasn't hungry, or just insulting the guy. Like, here are some of the comments for the video that he only won once, and only ate once, and she just ate the entire thing. I hope the mom's okay. The dad reeks of abuse, emotional abuse, very egotistical, craves attention, doesn't seem too smart. I've seen this firsthand, and I get it. He's the father of your kid, father of your kid. So it's healthy for him to be around them. I hope everything's well. There's something sinister about this video. You know, it's like the dad acting out every everything he does for the content. And even his interaction with his oldest kid is very odd. As if she knows something about him and it's always side with her mom. Makes the dad feel like not so happy. I hope they're okay. And then there are comments just calling the guy out when he's losing. What do you want him to do? If he wins, he's a narcissist that causes his daughter to cry, who abuses his spouse. But if he loses, He's acting out, attention seeker, and an egotistical person because he doesn't want to get hit. Honestly, this whole thing is dumb. Like, what, the, what do you want the guy to do? So, next day, right? I decide like, oh, you know, let me check out their TikTok page. And I saw a TikTok that's like now deleted on their page. Not sure when they deleted it, but I saw it when they posted it within less than 10 minutes of the thing being posted. I briefly remember it. I didn't save it or anything. So like, this is just based off memory. They said they were going to a place called like the rabbit hole which is apparently a kid's library thing. They posted an actual video of going to the rabbit hole, but this is like before going to the place. The daughter's like, the daughter said something. The mom yells at her. I think it was like, she said, say something or do something again when we're going home. Uh, for some reason, the guy's nose is bloody. I can't remember if he gave a reason or not, but like the guy's nose was just bleeding. And then it was also the guy who recorded it and I guess posted it. So I'm guessing they're either playing into the abuse stuff because you know, they posted one or two more things about the abuse stuff. But like, you know, nothing's gonna happen since like the, it was the guy who was attacked. And ultimately, you know, just getting more views and more comments since the whole thing is like, they're just, people are just calling him out, which is probably getting more people to look at their stuff. So, you know, that's about it. If you like and sub, if you sub, you might get another video.